Hello and welcome! In today's Photoshop video, I'm going to show you the in-depth process of how you can add artificial lighting to your pictures to create dynamic and interest. And I'm actually going to show you two different ways to do that. First of all, it's going to be a starburst type look like this. And then the last one is going to be a very soft, kind of glowish, very natural look like that. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to show you the starburst effect on this picture. I really like the photo, but I think a little starburst in this area could actually work in favor of it. So what I'm going to do first of all is grab a new layer right here. Then I'm going to go to the gradient tool, make sure my foreground color is white, my background color is black, and just grab a gradient over the picture. Now you want to hold down the shift key so your line is perfectly straight. And it doesn't really matter whether your gradient is up here or down there. It's really just you want something that kind of looks like that. Then once you have that, you want to go to Filter, Distort, and go to Wave, and that will give you this little window. First of all, just click on Square, very important. And then afterwards, you do have a quite a lot of different options here. However, I really like having my number of generations at 20. Then Wavelength, in this particular case, I think anywhere between 20 and 200 works pretty well, so from minimum to maximum. And then Amplitude, you want that from anywhere from like 5 to 10 all the way up to 100 in the maximum. So once you have that, just click on OK, and once again, feel free to play around with it and really see what works best in the preview window here, but I think this is a pretty solid starting point. So I'm just going to click on OK, and it's going to create all of these waves, and it did a pretty good job, but now I want to go to Filter, Distort again, and this time go to Polar Coordinates, and that will just make it round and really make it a starburst, and then afterwards you're going to have something like that. And of course, if you've chosen a few different settings here in the Wave tool previously, it might look a little bit different, but it's definitely all preference, and I really like the look here. So I'm just going to stick there and go into my blending mode and change that from normal into screen. And as you can see, we're pretty close to an actual sunburst. But now what you want to do is click on Control and T and that will give you this little resizing option thing. And for example, as you can see here, this is kind of stretched a little bit. So I'm going to make it a bit more square and of course also make it a lot smaller. You can do that very good by holding down the shift shift and the old key and then just making it smaller or bigger according to your liking. So first of all, I think this size it works pretty well. So let's just click OK there and of course drag it over the actual area that I want it to affect. So then after you have that, you can go to your opacity, maybe make it not quite as strong. And also another thing that you might want to do is go to filter, blur and add a little bit of Gaussian blur just so these, um, these lines don't look as, you know, as harsh. So just maybe one radius would work pretty well. And as you can see, it's just a little bit softer and a little bit more natural looking. So then after you have that, a final step that you probably want to do is add some color to it. And you can do that very easily by going into the hue and saturation, grab it right here, make sure you have it on color rise, and then choose your color of preference. And depending on your picture and you, the look that you kind of want to go for, you can of course also add an artistic color, but if you want to make it look natural, you generally want to keep it within the yellow and the orange kind of, you know, um, hue. So I'm just going to add it right here. And then after you've done that, just press down your alt key and left click so the effect only applies to the actual starburst. And then of course from there you could fine tune your hue or your saturation even more. And I think in fact I might even add a little bit more blur here. Just a little bit more maybe maybe around two radius and you know this is really the fine tuning part. There's a lot of things that you can do. Of course you can also resize it if you think it's still a little bit too big. So there are really a lot of options. 
but if I show you before that adjustment and after, I think it really works. Keep in mind that this is a very fast tutorial and I'm really just showing you how to do it. Of course, you could fine tune everything a lot more with size and with the actual waves and stuff like that. But I think it works pretty well and once again, here is before and here is after. And by the way, if that's still not enough, you could of course just duplicate that layer and make it even more prominent and more bright. But let's go on to the next picture right here. And here I'm going to show you the second technique, which is going to be a very soft and a very natural looking glow rather than a starburst. And for that, once again, you want to start off with a new layer. Then you want to go to your brush and make it relatively big. I would suggest you, you know, depending on your picture, of course, but um, maybe even a thousand works pretty well. And then also make sure that your harshness is at zero. That is very important. Then once you have that, just click in the middle of your picture anywhere and you have a little glowing point right there. Then you want to go to your blending modes and go to soft light and that will really make it super soft. As you can see here, it's really very, very soft and very natural looking and just um, leave it there for now. Then you want to duplicate the layer, click on control T and make this one a bit bigger. And then once you have done that, just merge down the layers into one. And if I drag this around here, as you can see, it's very, very soft and it really looks very natural. So the reason why I've added, first of all, um, a smaller one, then duplicated it and make it a bit bigger is that I have kind of a center point that is a little bit more prominent than the rest. And that way you make it look way more natural. So in this picture, by the way, you could even use this as kind of as dodge and burning if you would maybe bring down the opacity. But what I want to use it for here is for the sky. So I'm just going to place it right there, make sure that it looks good. And the thing is, because you have it on soft light, it will be very, very soft. If I show you before and after, it's very soft. I do like the look, but if you would like to have a stronger and more prominent effect, then you can just duplicate this layer right here by clicking down Control J or CMDJ on a Mac. And that will just duplicate it and make it even stronger. And once again, you can do that as many times as you want. Of course, you probably don't want to make it look something like that. But I do think um, around two copies of that works pretty well. And if you want to fine adjust that even more, you can of course go into the opacity and also do that there. But this was pretty much it. So let's just actually merge them down into one and show you before that one adjustment and here is after. And you see in this particular picture, it really works. This gives additional dynamic and interest. And for example, a starburst as we had in picture one, it wouldn't really work all that well here. And the same thing, this kind of very soft glow wouldn't work that well in this picture. And that is exactly why I show you both the starburst as well as this very soft, um, very natural glow right here. So you can really decide for yourself and at the end use whatever works best in the respective pictures. So that was it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more Photoshop, Lightroom and other photography videos. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode.